we awake this morning to a terrible tragedy on our Flagstaff campus. We are, of course, shocked and deeply saddened by the circumstances that bring us together this morning. Our thoughts are with the victims and their families and our entire Lumberjack family. I'm grateful for the collaborative work of our law enforcement officials on campus and in the city of Flagstaff who are investigating this isolated and unprecedented incident. We have assured the NAU community that campus is secure and classes will go on as scheduled. We are sensitive to the tragedy and we are asking the faculty to be sensitive to the needs of our students and their families. This is not going to be a normal day at NAU. Our hearts are heavy. We have made support services available to our students, faculty, and staff in the Health and Learning Center. A family assistance center has been set up in the ballroom of 1899. Parents may also call 928-523-0007 for information. NAU PD Chief G.T. Fowler is here to answer your additional questions about the ongoing investigation. G.T. So this morning at uh, 0120 hours, <clears throat> several of our students, two separate student groups got into a confrontation. The confrontation turned physical and one of our students, Stephen Jones, 18 years old, produced a handgun and he shot four of our other students. One of our students is deceased. The other three are being treated at the Flagstaff Medical Center. We can't release a lot of additional details at this time. I can tell you that all the resources of the NAUPD and Flagstaff Police Department and local law enforcement agencies are assisting us with this investigation. A great many people are involved and need to be interviewed and a lot of things need to be accomplished before we can release a great many details. We will have additional information later out of our public affairs office at approximately 8 o'clock. We'll try to give you an update on everything that we can. Again, as I said right now, we have one student deceased and three others being treated at the Flagstaff Medical Center. I'm not aware of the specific condition of the other three students right now. They all uh, were suffering from gunshot wounds. Stephen was taken into custody by NAUPD officers. Um, he stopped his action with his handgun and everything calmed down for a few minutes. As our officer arrived, he was able to take him into custody without further trouble. That's correct. What was the confrontation about? I do not know that yet. And did all these pieces meet at a rally? Did the students have I do not know that yet either. And I'm sorry to be vague, but we just don't know the answer to all these questions yet. Were they two separate fraternities? I don't know if they're fraternities. They were just student groups. The bystander is not aware who shot the shooter? I don't think I can answer that either. Were there any other injuries? Is there any incidents of such a gunshot? There are a total of four people who were hurt. Yes. Spelling C and V or C H? With a V. Are there enough instances of shooting in high school students on the campus at the same time and which time that method would apply to them? I can't tell you that at this time. We do not know. We have not been able to process the actual crime scene yet. We're waiting for the sun to come up so we can get a better field of view. Were all four shooting victim students here? Yes. It would be safe to say multiple times. So he just had one gun on him? We believe so. Did anyone else have a weapon? I don't know that. Is the parking lot part of the campus? Yes, it is. On campus? Yes. Do you believe that they might have had injury on the other couple of students or men that may have put them together? Or I, I don't know that. It was 1.20 in the morning. Uh, students come and go from campus. How long were the residents of the hospital? Well, we put out an NAU alert to let our students know to uh, shelter in place until we could figure out exactly what we had. Nothing happened inside of our residence halls, so that information was also put out subsequently. 
through the NAU alert system. What is that RPI value that comes from? How does that work here? Uh, our alert system works the same as virtually everybody else's. We have a, a short message service that we can send out emergency messages, and we can tell people of an incident that occurs, which we did. Uh, we put out an active shooter alert, and then we put out additional information about the location, and we put out information about the situation had stabilized and the campus was safe. And people work well in this situation? Yes. What time does the alert go out to the campus? I don't have that off the top of my head. I know the initial alert went out rather quickly. The initial alert went out at 2.53. The students um, were posting on their Facebook saying, you know, it's not from any indication of safety. So the alert did not go out after the shooting. But I'm a student, and we only got our cell at 10.50 in the morning. And we had some students who kept coming out and who started to complain that they were spent um, over an hour. And so um, they didn't get by. Well, sometimes it takes us a little bit of time to stabilize a situation before we can get the information out for the alert and to call in the other people. Now, the situation here was stabilized right away by the officers. They knew what they had. They put the alert out as a precautionary measure, not necessarily one that they actively had to, students actively had to take measures to protect themselves. So they get it out as quick as they can. I don't know the actual timeline yet of when they were actually sent out. I know we sent out a total of four NAU alerts providing the initial information, follow-up information, and then the information that the situation was stabilized. So they're sent out through a uh, alert system that you sign up for through your uh, smartphone. What can you tell us about uh, the, the student profile that you're aware of and how long they've been in the system? I do not have that information. Uh, I know our uh, our shooting student was actually, he's 18 years old, he's a freshman, I believe. Have you had any issues with him before? Not that I know of. And has there been any uh, issues here? No, not that I know of. So the Arizona Board of Regents prohibits students, prohibits anyone to carry guns on campus. Uh, the Arizona law allows you to have a gun in your car uh, in a locked compartment on campus, but that's where it has to stay. You cannot carry it around campus. Were there any additional guns found in his car or in his dorm? I can't say that yet. Did he live on campus? Yes. Did all of them live on campus? No. Did he live in other dorms? No. You know, I do not. Uh, again, it was 1.20 in the morning, and several students just became involved in a confrontation with each other. We don't know the facts yet about what brought them together or what caused the confrontation. So did he have the gun on him in the confrontation? I don't know that either. But when he, were police just able to take him right into custody? Did he stay there? Or yes. How did that exactly he, he stayed there, and we were able to take him to custody with the first officer that arrived on scene. What were the other people in the confrontation? I wasn't there. I don't know. I know there were students involved. I don't know about whether or not they tackled him and subdued him until the officer arrived. What can you tell us about the deceased student? Um, I believe he's a freshman, and we are still working on notification of all the family members, which is why we're not going to be able to release names at this point. Can you tell us if the other victims are male or female? The victims are all male. It's, it's yeah. Sure, it's Greg Fowler, F O W L E R. I'm the police chief here. Thank you very much. Rita Chang, President, C H E N G.